Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The bold and the beautiful recap for Friday, August 23, 2024 is finally here. On today's episode, Bill Spencer grills Lee Finnegan R.J. Forrester dumps a startling surprise on Katie Logan, Ridge Forrester and Brooke Logan. Plus, Luna Nozawa drugs Steffi Forrester Finnegan B and B recap for Friday, August 23 indicate that inside the Spencer mansion, Luna gushes to Bill about how no woman can resist him. Luna kisses Bill as a jaw drops Steffi observes from a distance. Taylor Hayes departs Forrester Creations. Ridge informs Brooke that Taylor wants to continue her practice in L.A. Brooke is rattled over all the days awaiting Taylor to return. Ridge sticks up for Taylor. Brooke is irritated and reminds Ridge that Taylor came in and soon started bouncing all over Hope Logan, Annika Noel. Ridge reasons that Taylor has a right to be upset. Ridge argues that Hope kissing Finn is a big thing. Brooke knows this and says Hope does too. Ridge doesn't think Hope is aware of just how disastrous the aftermath of the kiss is going to be. Ridge had been attempting to meld the two families together, but now the kiss has complicated things. Brooke knows why Ridge is furious and promises she will handle Hope. They kiss as RJ rushes in the door. RJ tells Ridge and Brooke that Bill isn't Luna's father after all. Ridge asks about the paternity test. RJ said that someone must have manipulated the results. Katie Logan comes in. RJ explains to everyone that Bill got two paternity tests just to make sure. Luna isn't Bill's daughter. Bill informs Luna that she can't kiss him like that. Luna apologizes and claims she's never encountered a man like Bill before. Luna says no one has ever been kind to her like he has. Steffi listens from around the corner. Luna says since the day they met she felt a connection with Bill. Luna calls Bill her missing piece. Luna isn't even looking at Bill while talking. Luna keeps explaining to the wall. Luna starts messing with stuff on the tiny lamp table. Luna finally catches Steffi looking at her from afar. Luna pretends not to see Steffi. Luna is feeling nervous and keeps staring at the wall with a frozen look on her face. Bill promises to seek Luna professional aid. That's when Luna abruptly turns around to face him. Luna nervously says thanks, then says she's got to leave. Luna hurriedly departs and Bill goes into another room. Steffi glances around the corner and sneaks out of the Spencer estate without being discovered. Steffi's phone is still on the table at the front door. The bold and the beautiful recap for Friday, August 23 shows that Ridge and Brooke are stunned that Katie doesn't know already. Katie says she'll reach out to Bill. Katie tells how her concerns began to Brooke and Ridge, then discusses about Tom Starr's letters to Poppy. Katie believes that Poppy's objective was to acquire Bill's riches. Brooke worries what this means for Luna. RJ thinks Luna seems extremely vulnerable right now and seems worried. Lay stops by to see Bill. Leah asks about Luna and Bill replies she'll be okay. Bill tells Lee that Luna isn't his daughter. Lee chuckles and believes it's a joke. Bill informs Lee that he ran two other paternity tests after the initial one, and they were both negative. Bill accuses Lee of falsifying the paternity test results. Luna goes to the old flat. The windows are boarded up. The counters and appliances are good. Way too wonderful to be demolished. Moving further, Luna goes into the apartment and Steffi follows her. Luna acts thrilled to meet Steffi. Brooke believes Poppy was more hazardous than they imagined. Katie thinks Tom was getting in Poppy's way. RJ claims Poppy never gave him the idea that she was interested in material things. Katie counters RJ and says Poppy used her Katie own daughter. Bill and Luna Bill. are victims. Katie feels bad about Luna, and so does Brooke. RJ furrows his brow as he says Luna has come to genuinely adore Bill. Lee denies rigging the paternity test. Lee claims that Bill impacted Poppy's life in ways she never dreamed. However, Lee also adds that she hates Poppy, so why would she aid her? Lee offers to take a polygraph. Bill says he trusts Lee, 
but someone manipulated the exam. Bill asks Lee if it was a poppy. Lee doesn't know for sure. Lee knows Poppy is a gold digger but worries that someone is framing her for murder. Steffi tells Luna that she learned about Poppy's incarceration. Luna says they performed another paternity test. Luna says Bill isn't truly her father. Steffi asks whether that's why Luna kissed Bill. Luna is surprised and stammers. Steffi tells Luna that she was there and watched the kiss. Steffi is abnormally calm. While Steffi continues chatting, Luna goes to the refrigerator and pours something in a glass. Steffi reminds Luna that she needs to go inwardly and recognize kissing Bill is wrong. Luna tells Steffi that Bill has been incredibly understanding as she approaches her with two glasses of iced tea. Luna offers Steffi one as it's so hot outside. Steffi is suspicious about Luna's conduct but takes the glass. Steffi drinks as Luna apologizes for kissing Bill. Steffi asks if Luna is rationalizing her behavior. Luna believes Bill is really beautiful and rambles about transference feelings, whatever that means. Steffi is starting to appear sleepy as she questions Luna about Poppy and RJ. Steffi straight up declares, I don't know who this is. Steffi asks, who are you, Luna? RJ claims he loves Luna and wants to do something to help her. Katie maintains none of this is Luna's fault. RJ tells a concerned Katie, Ridge, and Brooke that Luna is going to stay with Bill and claims they need each other. Bill asks Lai why someone would frame Poppy. Luna gulps some tea awkwardly. Steffi also takes another sip. Luna makes awkward small conversation regarding the kiss. Luna adds that nobody understands the loss save her and Bill. Steffi reminds Luna that she's talking about the man her mother has been sleeping with at the time of her arrest. Luna claims that wasn't very cool on her behalf. Luna believes it's becoming increasingly likely that Poppy is responsible for the Il Giardino murders. Steffi is astonished that Luna doubts Poppy's innocence. Steffi informs Luna that this isn't her and asks for the real Luna back. Steffi realizes that Luna shifted from staying at the beach cottage to Bill's castle. Steffi brings up Tom's death. Luna comments that it's dreadful and Poppy would do anything for her. Steffi thinks Luna's comment to be unusual. Steffi thinks Luna has a lot to lose if Tom was proved to be her father. Steffi realizes that Luna shifted from staying at the beach cottage to Bill's castle. Steffi brings up Tom's death. Luna comments that it's dreadful and Poppy would do anything for her. Steffi thinks Luna's comment to be unusual. Steffi thinks Luna has a lot to lose if Tom was proved to be her father. Steffi figured it out. The tea is almost gone. Steffi says, that's why you kissed Bill. You wanted him all to yourself. Steffi asks Luna if she's the type of person to do anything to obtain what she wants, even murder. Luna gulps and says nothing. Luna smirks as Steffi exclaims, you murdered Tom and Hollis. Steffi gets drowsy and passes out. Steffi lands on the broken glass and pieces can be heard crunching under her body. Luna smirks as Steffi exclaims, You murdered Tom and Hollis. Steffi gets drowsy and passes out. Steffi lands on the broken glass and pieces can be heard crunching under her body. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed The Bold and the Beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.